Well, this week's movie may have been about a house of horrors, but we consider our dungeon set here as the house of horror movies. And when it came time for us to update the premises, we called upon the creative forces of Acme Design, Inc. Not the ones who made products for Wile E. Coyote, right? Nah, not at all. Okay, to help create the new Svengoolie set. There came a time when the Svengoolie Dungeon Studio set that we'd been using for close to 20 years after being put up and taken down over and over was showing signs of wear. It was at this point that we called upon the creative geniuses of Acme Design Incorporated of Elgin, Illinois. You might recall that they were the ones who created our new Svengoolie coffin. Did you see that? Oh, amazing! Oh, terrific! So, Acme was the perfect choice to update our set. Acme artist Ryan Gunther worked with us to see what we wanted and came up with some designs that retained the look of the old set, but added a lot of new features. Since Ryan and the Acme folks are longtime fans of the show, they had no shortage of suitable ideas. You have to start with the basics, and obviously a dungeon isn't a dungeon without walls. Artists carved some foam slabs and created the look of stone walls. They were painted and specifically coated to stand up to typical abuse like, say, being pelted by repeated storms of rubber chickens. They found various real-life items and machinery even on eBay and either adapted them or used them as the basis for new equipment for this set. Unique state-of-the-art inventions that are previously unheard of. One feature that obviously has to be carried over from the old set was a door. So they created a new door, just in case some wandering visitor might happen by to interrupt me at the end of the show. Let's see who's at the door. Uh... Oh, oh, Mr. Gooley, I, I'm so worried. And we chose some new gargoyles to stand guard on either side of the door. Of course, Acme had crafted them in the image of two favorite horror icons. Vincent Price. I was hoping to get in on the excitement. And Boris Karloff. Friend, good. Before they were installed, we saw a demonstration of the inner workings of what would become our new dungeon windows. Whenever you walk in front of your window, could you please wear pants? This is an early look at a strange contraption that has ended up being one of the most impressive parts of the set. A device that confines a rubber chicken in a stasis tube. A couple of our viewers, in deference to Back to the Future, have christened it the Clux Capacitor. Great Scott! What was a hunk of an old movie theater projection system has been morphed into a fantastic creation complete with a knife switch that even Dr. Frankenstein would be proud of. It's alive! We love all the attention to detail that our Acme friends took, including labeling various equipment with things that may never even be visible on your TV screen, but are visible on set to a grateful Sven crew. And we finally have some built-in shelves to display some of the many items sent to us by loyal Sven fans. The end result of all this hard work is an amazing visual treat that adds to the atmosphere of our show. It's all highly functional, true to the genre, and above all, giving a respectful nod to the original set, but also updating it spectacularly. We're very proud that Ryan, Clint, and our friends at Acme Design have put us in a brand new dungeon that immediately felt like home. Well, with the various forms of art that we've displayed on this program, if we were to be our own art critics, what would our assessment be? We stink! Yes, but we made it into an art form, and we hope that you'll return here for our next exhibition in which you'll be astounded to see that... There's somebody at the door. Let, just give me a moment, please. I'll go check who might have ventured over here. <laughs> who would come to this house of horrors? Oh, maybe they thought it was the house of pancakes because all my jokes fall flat. You see what I did there? <laughs> and then, of course, the syrup makes it harder. Oh, Monsieur Gouli, I am, how you say, an artiste. That's not how I'd say artist, but... 
And having people who love your work as an artist is so important. Sure. A man came to my studio and inspecting my paintings, he sat down and said, I admire your colors. I wish I could take them home with me. Okay. I said, I think your wish shall be granted. And he said, you mean you will sell me the painting? I said, no, you are sitting on my palette. Ooh, that's... But Syria Mom, having genius recognized is so important. Take the great Vincent van Gogh. Yeah. For years, he would paint pictures, and his work was ignored. Gogh. He produced painting after painting, and the critics and the public alike paid no attention. Van Gogh was so frustrated that he cut off his ear. Ow! With a blunt knife. Then he continued to paint, and suddenly... Everyone took notice. His patrons and all the art critics said, Van Gogh, your work is marvelous. You're a genius. And Van Gogh said, Huh? So long, Screwy. See you in St. Louis. Oh, Do you hear the audience laughing? You know, they certainly don't. You <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for inspecting my dental for joining us for the House of Horrors. And believe me, it will be a home of horrors. Hi, George. Hey, it's me, right? Thank you for enjoying the movie. And come back next week to find out what kind of horrors we have in our house for you. But then it may not be a house. For you.